it's it's more than just looking for people. It's it's compassion and it's the drive that these uh, people at FCSO and our volunteers and everybody else have to just do the right thing and, and save people. It was amazing. It was an amazing event. I was proud to be part of it for sure. Search an area and along a wooded line and any opening in the wooded line, I would I would go in and uh, try to try to see if I could see anything. And it just so happened in one of the open areas uh, along the wooded line. I found this uh, close. It just felt like God just put us in the area we needed to be at the time. And once we found those clothes, it was just, it was a happiness, but then also a little scary emotional feeling for us. And we just prayed real hard that that God would intervene here at the oh, time. High, it was a high grass area, probably knee high grass field area. And there was woods and a, and a lake on one side of the area where his clothing were. Um, and then it was open field to another patch of woods, and then a grass, kind of a grass walkway, and then another patch of woods. So he had actually wandered that area and actually went down that grass path is where we took off and went down, and he was down in a really deep ditch embankment. Um, actually, when we came up to him, I don't know if he heard us, but as we came up to him, he, he, kind of, he sat up and was kind of relieved that we, that we found him. And uh, I don't... You know, with Ricky's condition, I didn't want him to go right up to him, so we stopped and we kind of we had communication with him. We asked him, "Is all right? You pet the dog?" And he said yes. So he wanted he got to pet the dog on the head a little bit, and we just wanted to get him out. And then we, at that point, we just wanted to get him out there so we can get medical attention.